this is going to go down as one of the most impactful journeys on YouTube. I think every single day, like why this matters. Why am I here in this barrio building this company? Like, why does it matter? Have humility, work hard, capture the journey, have fun, learn, enjoy the journey, because when it's over, it's over. To being a 44 year old man thinking like, yo, I want to do Project Swag and go after my dream again. That's what this company is built off. Good morning, guys. It's August 8th, 2024. It is 8.02 a.m. I'm here in my office in Cartagena, Colombia. We have 80, hold on a second. 85 days before we launched the All Dreams platform for amateur athletes worldwide. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm, I am an entrepreneur right now in Cartagena, Colombia. I'm documenting my journey, building my startup. Man, it feel like a great morning, man. It feel like this week was kind of slow, right? Tomorrow's Friday. Uh, this week hasn't been the the most fluent week, the most impactful week. It's really been kind of slow and gradual. Uh, it's been a struggle this week, you know, because of that. Uh, views is views is down. You know, we don't we don't get we don't get many views here, but we don't do it for views. We do it to document the journey. And I personally feel like, like people, they're missing out. This is going to go down as one of the most impactful journeys on YouTube that's being taped and filmed daily. Like this, what I'm doing will go down in history. And I, I promise you this, this will go down in history. I'm not even sure if it's been done before. Definitely, it has not been done before because I haven't done it before. So, my uniqueness, my unique story, my unique journey through entrepreneurship, pro basketball, prison, building companies, failing, being a single father, being charged falsely, partnerships with high profile NFL teams, NHL teams, um, losing everything, selling my company, moving to Colombia, all of these things is my unique journey, right? And we always say from Eastside Buffalo, New York, like, this is going to go down as one of the greatest channels on YouTube documenting this complete journey because you're seeing going from where I'm at, but we also have documentation all the way from 2005 so we can tell those stories all the way until we build out probably one of the greatest companies for athletes ever, okay? This is iconic. It's gonna take some time for people to catch up on it, but this is iconic, man. I promise you, <laughs> I promise you. And it's not like, it's not like, like, like bigging myself up or anything, but I promise you what I'm doing will go down in history. And I say that, eight, eight, 24. And we take it just step by step, day by day, and just keep going. No matter if it's one view, or whether it's 100 views, same, same energy. You feel me? And that's what it is, man. 
That's what it is. That's what it is. Underdog shit, man. Underdog shit. I love it. I love being an underdog. I love being an underdog. Before, before anybody know it, I just slide right under the radar. That's all I'm feeling today, man. It's an underappreciation for a real nigga. Today we're gonna work on the business model canvas. Uh, that's what we're gonna work on today. So I'm gonna show you um, as I'm doing it. I'm gonna screenshot everything, put it on there. So look, like it's like one thing that like I really love to do is share exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I really love sharing exactly what I'm doing because look, I can do everything behind the scenes and go wherever I'm going to go, right? But who does that help? It only, it only serves me, you know? It only serves me and only serves what I'm doing. And what I've learned at this point in my life at 44 years old is that I should be serving other people that might want to do the same thing that's maybe a step behind me okay two steps behind me that may want to do the same thing so that's why I'm putting all this I'm documenting all this put it on the internet so anyone that may want to get any type of jewelry from it you know any type of um, knowledge or anything any type of inspiration they can get from it and that goes that goes into um, the, pla the All Dreams platform. I want to, you know, I want to, I want to say this, right? Because it's not a, it's not a want for athletes to reach their potential and get closer to their goals as an athlete. It's, it's almost, it's almost, it's a need, right? So it's not like. My platform it's not like yo this is oh athletes should want this okay see the thing about it it's millions of athletes it's so 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 competitive and myself I was blessed to be in the one percent of athletes to make it to where I made it to and the lion's share of athletes won't even make it there and I didn't have an illustrious career. You know, I didn't have a 10, 15 year career and make millions of dollars. That's even harder. That's even more like a pen in an ocean. So when it comes to capturing that sports journey, it's a part of our life. That's a need. When it comes to building a community that's going to support you and lift you up, that's a need. When it comes to financial support for training, travel, that's a need. Because it's more competitive than ever. Sports is more competitive than ever. Every single day I'm riding a moto into the city, kids is playing soccer on on concrete courts, soccer fields. Everywhere around the world, people shooting baskets in Africa. Kids with no shoes on, training, pitching, in hopes and in dreams to get to college and professional to play. It's a need for the platform. And that's what, I, that's what I'm confident in because I was one of those athletes. You understand? This ain't, this ain't, this ain't. I see so many athletes that just think they are, so many parents that think their sons or daughters just are the shit. And I, I promise you, like, 
is going to be a time where that shit smacks you in the face when you don't get what you want out of, out of sports. It happens to almost all of us. Have humility, work hard, capture the journey, have fun, learn. Learn the life skills that sports teach you, okay? Enjoy the journey, because when it's over, it's over. All right? Yo, so today also is my 60th video posted today. This is 60 videos, we are 60 days in. We are on, we are, I don't think I'm ever gonna stop this. Like for real, I, like, I'm on a, um, I'm on a routine and I'm not sure if this ever stops. Even when we get to after launch, like, even when we get to possibly acquisition, and need these so we can get food for today I've been eating out every single day and I need a home cooked meal so Mr. Needies is going to do that for me it comes like once a week sometimes twice since I've been back it's only been once a week but uh Yo, yo, what's good? It's still Thursday. It's about like, it's still morning time. I would say maybe like 11 something. Um, you know, when I started this, this video, I was gonna talk about like, like when I started, you know, when I started the day, like one of the things I was talking about was like business, business model canvas and shit like that, you know? So I was like, yo, today I'm gonna teach y'all business model canvas and all of that shit. And I think about it, like really any of that shit, any of this business stuff, like is there, you know, I think you have to know it, but none of that stuff is culture. You know, like, I think every single day, like why this matters. Why am I here in this barrio building this company? Like, why does it matter? And why should it matter to you? And why should it matter to my customers? And why should it matter to other athletes? And it's such a, it's such an easy answer to that. It's because it's dreams. 
and everybody has them you know everybody has them and the part that everybody is really missing it's not about me building this company it's not about this platform per se it's about people it's about people trying to achieve their dreams and wanting better for their life and that's one of the reasons why this matters so much it's one of the reasons why i'm in this barrio building my company it's one of the reasons why i've isolated myself because i know how important it is to dream and that's why it's that's why it matters because dreams it's a universal language almost you feel me um This matters because riding on the back of motos to go play basketball every day or three three times a week or, you know, living in this neighborhood amongst people that Americans would probably call poor. The one universal thing is dreams. And that's what I've always wanted to build all dreams off of. A guy, his self that has these big dreams and these big aspirations to, to help his family and to help people and impact the world. And that's what this is this all dream stuff is built off of is built off of working out in environments like this and living in environments like this and that's the magic I believe like that's the That's the magic of what's being built. Like who cares about your car? Who cares about your fucking house? Who cares about your fucking closet full of sneakers? Who cares about all the fucking money you have? Where the fuck did you start from? Go back to that essence and that feeling. Like I think when I'm like in the in the back of the fucking yard, dreaming as a teenager on Montclair. To being a 44 year old man thinking like, yo, I wanna do Project Swag and go after my dream again. That's what this company is built off. I don't give a fuck about your fucking retirement. Fuck your retirement. I wanna have purpose throughout the fucking rest of my life. Who the fuck wants to sit around? And that's what this is built off of. That's why it fucking matters. Cause it's like a, a childlike aspiration to do things, to go after things. But what happens once you realize you're a fucking adult, you try to get to the end so fast when it's really all about this fucking journey. People want to work for however long so they can get to the end and stop. Like how about do things that you never want to fucking stop? And that's the culture of all dreams. You never want to stop.
and that's why I'm a 44, almost 45 year old man living in this barrio on the essence. And the example of what a dreamer is. And that's why it matters. That's why this culture matters. People don't give a fuck about what you have. Fuck your cars. Fuck your jewelry. Fuck all of that. Go back to the essence. That's why it fucking matters. Because in the, in the end of that shit, the real shit that matters, we all get all of that shit. We get the house, we get the cars, but we never forget where this shit started from. It's this fucking concrete. It's this. It's this. Right? It's places like this. With real people. Nobody's fucking real anymore, man. And that's the essence. That's the essence of all dreams. That's why it matters. That's why I do this every single day. This is an example. So many people just had, they give up on it. That's all we have. That's all we have is, is these, these dreams and these aspirations. We only get one time to do it. Missing the, they lost. Fucking with your fucking aspirations to fucking buy something and say, look at me on fucking Instagram. Fuck you. These kids in Africa going after their dreams, pitching with no shoes on. That's the essence. That's why it matters. Kids in the states in front of Walmart asking for donations so they can travel to the Little League Championship in Orlando. That's why it matters. This is real culture.